Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Iravel maybe and his Chorfs and Spartacus and his Norse who beat Dimmy G. Speaking of which, Dimmy G is here with Squirrel Dude. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, Apple comes out instantly turn one because that was his ball carrier. Um, oh, rough. Yeah, rough. That's kind of rash. I get uh, it, you think you're gonna beat up the Norse because you're Chorfs, but like that feels a little rash. The thing is, is if you're gonna Apo it, you can't then move the ball away from it because it's gonna get fouled, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta protect it on some level. I guess you can move the Chorf over, that's fine. Maybe I, the old I, I Ravel. Sure. Oh. Ravel oh. or Ravel? Yeah, there's Ravel and Ravel as well, yeah. I Ravel? It's A Ravel. A hey, rebel. Hey, Correct. Yeah, there's not a lot on the Norse, though, is there? There's, there's a dirt, there's a mighty blow and a dirty player and a claw. So there isn't a lot of damage. But I think also I think he really wants this in case like another wizard comes in and then he's yep. got the recovery. So like he does want oh. this. Kind of... Wow, really wants the pickup as well. Interesting. And gets it. <laughs> Fails the pickup and catches it. Perfect. Amazing. Exactly as planned. Yeah. I mean, he is probably pretty favored in the matchup and with the teams, but it feels like he really doesn't want the game to get out of control at any point. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, I mean, who wants the game to get out of control? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at that dub skulls from Cheney. So, yeah, the Norse are quite a lot of TV down, aren't they? They've got Cheney, they've got a wizard. So. And they haven't got much of them, whereas the Chorfs have got loads of loads of claws, mighties, guards, everything. Well, loads of mighty blow guards stand firm in it. Amazing blockers, actually amazing blockers. Yeah, the balls. None of them are good and usually Chorfs carry one that's just shit. <laughs> they always carry like one that's just like guard bad, and this one doesn't even have that. They're all guard stand firm, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're all they're all mighty blow guard at least. Yeah. And then four stand firms and a claw pommer and a bit of a shit. Foul Chaney, that is going in for him. Yeah. I um, I think the best thing that could have happened for Spartacus was if the DP actually caught it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And this guy is exposed now. I guess the Ulf would have to go after him. Well, yeah. maybe the Zerker can get to him. Not a full run up. Today. Wow. Well, it wow. worked. Wow. Worked that? Yeah, no one cares about the rough. Whatever, ref. Do that. I, you carry that every time. Yes. <laughs> oh, see, 240k TV. Yep. Yeah. Dub Skull got fouled out. Brutal. <laughs> GG. <laughs> it's not JJ, it's not Ira. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it's over. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like, as I was say before that, the, Nor the Norse have been having extremely Norse armor to that point. <laughs> They've been doing <laughs> quite fine getting the shit kicked out of them for, yeah. for two turns. Oh, he gets to stick a foul in here at least. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and he does do the full run up. Lovely play from Spartacus. Oh, only, only gets a stun more diced. Is that a fixed skull? Uh, I didn't even need to use it. Yeah, but the dirty player's gone at least, so he's not getting his. Uh, at least he's not getting his uh, ball throw in the foul this turn. I mean, that's totally worth it. Yeah. A dirty Cheney's... player hobo for Cheney. Oh yeah, like... yeah, it's, it's yeah. obviously incredible. Oh, wow. There's the Norse armor we all we all want to play against. <laughs> this is making me feel slightly better about losing to this Norse team. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the difference is you'd at least have a play on the ball now, whereas all he has is the wizard, isn't it, and hope. Yeah, true. And he doesn't really have... He doesn't have the players to make use of wizard now already. After after three turns, the wizard is, is very marginal. There's just that... There's just this, uh, mm -hmm. this runner. He's the only one. The only one. Who can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Can he surf the ball? Oh Cross. no 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 no! I don't know the wolf. The wolf's not on his feet. I thought the wolf was. Yeah, I mean, you could have surfed him. Could have quit him. 
could have pulled somebody off if you got it a push or something. Power there. I I got it. Foul. I I like this foul because it, you know he's losing. He's definitely yeah, yeah. he's. He's almost he's, he's already lost. lost. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. almost already lost. So you just go for this. It's like putting a pound on the lottery, isn't it? It's putting a pound on the Euro Millions. <laughs> Chances are you're throwing away a pound, but who cares? See, he's protected from piling on Michael because he had Fend, the best defensive skill. Yeah. In that Fend, he, he would be pushed and followed. <laughs> You just don't know how to use the new skills correctly. That is, that is what Galax Scarscraper said unironically. <laughs> Who? Galax Starscraper, he calls himself. Who's that? Um, he's the, he was the head of the Blood Bowl Rules Commission, who took over, like, you know, Blood Bowl for a, a number of years. And they thought of things like, um, what's it called, journeyman and stuff. And got rid of aging and all this kind of stuff. They basically made the living room books and stuff. Is it better or worse? Um, See, but, but there are some bad ideas that wouldn't let go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like he obviously had no clue on the piling on. He just wouldn't budge. Basically, we just wouldn't budge on any of the ideas he had. He wouldn't listen to anybody and wouldn't consider anything ever. But apart from that, most of it was good. But like. Yeah. This rule sets. Pretty good, isn't it? Like, yeah. to be fair. like the journeyman like, was brilliant. Journeyman was a brilliant rule. Um, getting rid of aging was brilliant, and you know, claw pump's fun. Just overpowered, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, claw pump ain't fun. No. Well, it's fun when you're doing it for sure. I mean, look at Mr. Page. You've never seen a happier person. <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad, dad! <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? He loves it. Well, I mean, like, uh, like if we had this rule set. Without uh, claw pom, or like pom, like even claw mighty blows fine, just not the pom. Mm. And yeah. uh, maybe sort the wizard out a bit as well, maybe. Now the bill not dodging out was a misclick. Mm. Oh, here we go, fireball! I don't hear that. Yeah, I know. Take the one do. Good enough. Got him, yeah, wrestle. Oh, and it scatters back out better. towards the towards the runner. Unbelievable. Is there a passing play to get this ball upfield? And is, is there anyone to pass? There is. Oh yes. my god. Let's do it. Intercept. No, he's still it. Oh my god. Reroll that. Obviously, let's go. Oh, dice. Oh, Unlucky. fuck! He was so close. He was actually oh, so, so close. How on earth was this guy like out there? That's unbelievable, isn't it? Amazing. Holy sheesh kebab. Yeah, so that was the dodging him out, not dodging him out was the was the play, I guess. Yeah, that's what you're saying, because he should have dodged him out and knocked him. Wow. That was a pretty good shot. And now he can just pick up an edgy and that's it. GG? Yeah. Don't like well, this though, this could, could have been one f f one further forward, yeah. couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, could have been there. And should have been, because it's a GFI. Yeah, starting from here is still going to be a little tricky. Can't have to use all his movement each turn. The bulls are also, have to probably do GFI because they want to be scoring throughouts. Yeah. Well, he's only got like four Norsemen to worry about, hasn't he? Yeah, but it's still like he's, he has to GFI once with the ball. And the other guys aren't ahead of him, so... It's, it's, it, it could be tricky. You have what player? Oh, well, that Hope Goblin. <laughs> this means that now... Yeah, yeah. I like the reroll. And my trick shot. Maybe I don't like the reroll for the... Hmm. How, you know... Means there is kind of a screen, and he does have to use all of his movement to score. So you know. Yeah, yeah. This isn't terrible, is it? This is, it did something. The problem is, of course, he can now he can uh, he can actually 
Oh, well, I've got some other guys. I thought he could, he could like, double chain and then maybe he's chaining forward, mm. but I guess that's too much of a bollocks on anyway. Like, as soon as I started saying, I'm like, it's not worth the men, you just want to get up and get it. <laughs> get it, mm -hmm. it? Uh, oh. Rolls a one, though, and he's gone laterally. Oh, my God. So now it's two. Yeah, two why wouldn't you move the chore first? Because he cause still can go through the wolf, right? The wolf there, so... Do you know what I mean if you've gone diagonally? No, I mean, like, if you... Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's, he's gonna have to go laterally one anyway. And he's only eight away, so if he gets pushed, he's out of range with this guy. Wow, he had to do a GFI. He had to do the GFI, didn't he? Oh, okay, no, he's got the bull. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. What's that guy called? Connor. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. yeah, this is good, isn't it? This is the right play for sure. By Spartacus. And if he only hadn't rerolled that last turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Christ. <laughs> oh, I had that guy HDK. <laughs> <laughs> that, that guy that just cast himself, I had that guy in my dream team. <laughs> oh man, if only he hadn't rerolled that last turn. And that's SPP for. Oh no, it's a GFI, so it doesn't matter. It's okay. Surrenders. It's not even like no no disrespect overall, but it's not even that good a draw team. It's uh, uh, the balls are great and the claw bomb is great, but it's a very, very good. It's a very good and very efficient. There's no like craziness, but it kind of has everything you want in a draw team. Get right? better than this though. Draws get better than this. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah, cru cru yeah. teams, but like this is really good. It's well good enough to win Chalice. Yeah. You have the IG4 carrier, you have the break tackle bulls that have additional stuff, you have like of extremely solid core of chores. Like that's about as good as you're gonna look. It's you even better now stuff. that all the chaos are out, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. And there's no Nurgle, is there? Mm. There was only one Nurgle and they're gone, right? Yeah. yeah. So there's no Nurgle, no chaos. So there's no Claw Mighty. Yeah. Are in Chorfs, right? Yeah, the na the natural predators of the Chorfs have been eliminated. So yeah, this is uh, looking really nice for the Chorfs now. Are there any Lizardmen teams that can at least try and strength them up? Oh, they are, yeah, yeah. because the, the Lizardmen beat the Chaos, didn't they? So yeah, there's there's two Lizardmen teams in that beat the mm. Chaos. So yeah. Oh, they could cause some problems. Yeah. Yeah, they so. can for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lizardmen now, there's because there's not any Chaos now, I guess, to beat them really, is there? That's actually pretty The Lizardmen beat half the Chaos, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> like... There was two two Chaos teams that went out to Lizards. Paige yeah. and, and uh, Singolo both lost to Lizards. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? And then, uh, yeah, and then one was to Delphs. And, I, and one was the Underworld of all teams, yeah. Yeah. Any dwarves left? Uh, yeah, um, I believe I believe that the uh, prominent elf coach Purple Chest is still in with uh, dwarves for some reason, uncharacteristically. Yeah. I mean, they're not they're not favoured because he's such an elf coach that uh, <laughs> he's quite inexperienced with the dwarves. <laughs> Have you seen the past few seasons? The Chorfs. Oh, what you mean the Chorfs in Chalice in the past few seasons? I mean, I would argue, I would argue that Kruppi's team was better than yours. Um, I would argue Andre's team was better than yours in this season. In this season. Um, but yeah, if you want to talk about past seasons, then I don't really, I don't really know. Like, I only really remember the winners, the winners and stuff. Yeah, this is a really good chorf team. Really, it's, good. It's, yeah. yeah, like after I said it, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. But it's only got the one claw bomber is the thing. Right? If I had yeah. qualified with this every single season of CCL, I would have definitely won a few chalices. Well, not if you spun into Norse Jim. <laughs> I would have definitely won a few. Like out out of forty tries or whatever, forty nine tries with this team, I would have definitely won chalice a few like multiple times. 100%. Yeah, recently Chorfs haven't been. Yeah, I, I, I get, I get your point, Ari. Well, I, I definitely get your point. But I, I also think that uh, 
you were definitely better than the draw team that beat Artemis. But yeah, I, I think the other two draw teams were slightly better. It's just not it a doesn't Chris have, team. It's not a Chris yeah. team. That's the thing. It, doesn't like a, it doesn't have like a plus strength draw or like multiple claw palmers, but besides that, like there's a root. Like, maybe you want uh, the other bowl to have like slightly more. It does have a stat, but like this is a really, really good team. Yeah, obviously you'd rather have two five skill balls. Yeah. Um, and you know you would like a bit more on the choice, like yeah, like another claw pummer, and like more stats. But like it's really fucking good. Like it's really good. You can't it's get pretty, much. I mean, it, it's really good. Yeah, next to this Norse team, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially when you kill Cheney on turn one after he dub skulls. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, worst yeah. two forty gold ever. Absolute yeah. shit, had Cheney. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's like the team value you want to be, you want to be max maxing on these shorts. You just wanted to get more of everything at this point. So they're so right now they're just the really nice stage where everything is really really efficient. So I mean, he's on the I think I think he's on the opposite side of the bracket from uh, that that Skaven team, which I lay at night thinking about <laughs> <laughs> the team the team that beat Rick like holy moly. Oh, yeah, Two rats. Oh no, no, hang on. Oh no, 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 they're uh, destined to face each other. If, yeah, so the winner of this game plays against the winner of More Dread and the Bread Mask. Mm. And then the winner of that plays against the winner of Kimroth and Sad Lad, so. Mm. Holy moly. And Kimroth beat Andre's Chorfs, didn't he? So. Yeah. Yeah, with a simple one turn. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Like just not respecting the frenzy at all. And the sidestep, importantly the sidestep, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, the sidestep. If you didn't yeah. have sidestep, it was no problem. You don't want to play Norse or Chorfs, that's a pretty, it's kind of a pretty wide brand. Oh yeah, no, Tom's, 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 he's just memeing because it's Norse and it's Jimmy's channel, isn't it? Like, <laughs> like no, like, I Everybody mean, even though I, Norse. yeah, even though I played this Norse and lost to him, I, I would still want this Norse again if I had to draw again. Like, yeah, this is one of the worst teams, isn't it? Again, no offence to Spartacus, but yeah, it was like, you know, he qualified, didn't he? But it's, it's pretty, it's just not good enough for Chalice, like, obviously good enough to get a good record in, in, in CCL, in a TV matched environment. When you're coming up and you know you've, you're down, you're down a bunch of TV to like these kind yeah. of teams, you fucked pretty much. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have a Yeti, which is probably helping in like a team value matching, but it's probably worse for winning in Chalice because the Yetis are garbage, but you need them to deal with claw teams probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, the Ulsa aren't good enough, but Ulsa are never good enough because they die. Cause they're terrible. <laughs> And the berserkers aren't good enough. So like all those core, all the good, all the players that are supposed to be good, aren't good. So you just can't... Oh, there's a cast. Badly hurt. Gets away with the early power apple. That apple was crazy. Yeah. I don't know. It was crazy. It was just, it was just risky, wasn't it? It was, it was like it was almost certainly the right decision for winning the game. You know, like. At that point, because you don't know that you're going to take more cards, do you? It's just that for winning the game, you probably up it. If you're greedy, which you probably should be, because you're favoured, then you then you just eat that and then keep the apple for a, for a play. Yeah. Probably what I would have done because I would have been scary, like... winning. But you know, I think that was probably the best for winning this game was to apple it. But like, he's going to foul you. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? He's going to. Well, if he makes the due point. Only a KO. Not using thick skull correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty player gets it and then gets us enough. Yeah. That's what I needed. A couple of those. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of chores out, to be fair. This isn't. Uh... Three, and he was four, a five. he was a he was a three plus away from scoring the counter score on yeah. Iron Road, right, wasn't he? Yeah. Like we were, we were one in nine even because it was uh he had the reroll and if he catches it he's out of range right? Yeah. 
Yeah, 10 versus 9, so the Norse have actually got the advantage of this drive. I mean, there's a lot of stand in for them. Numbers. In numbers, yeah. In numbers, yeah. certainly not in player quality. But in numbers, they have the advantage. If only had a second wizard. <laughs> this is pretty <laughs> difficult to crack this, yeah. isn't it? And induce the Wood Elf team as well, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Only just made a better shout on the team selection phase. I'll move three. I'll move that. So this guard might be was really crap. He's moved three. Why? Are you... Why? Are you... Okay. <laughs> I don't know why he pushed him there and not like. I guess. Yeah, because he wants to hit this one as well. Okay. Now it makes sense. So I thought he was uh, frenzy trapping B1. Uh. Oh, is there? Is there? A ball blitz? Oh no no. He could have chained the guy out and then done the GFI 1D on the ball carrier though. Um, yeah, because he could have. Uh, it's not great, is it? No, that's not really. But this is great. For the for the absolute state that the Norse were in. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Potato, here we come. Huge kill. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> he dodged the liner off the claw bomber. Hundred percent. Done well, we're in. Yes. I went with that guy first. Mm. I, I think it doesn't really matter, but I think I would have gone with the Lino. Yeah, I don't think that's much. On the top, on the. Oh, is that that's the edgy ball carrier, isn't it? Please get let him get a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, <laughs> please! I want my fantasy points. <laughs> Man, I'm loving the fantasy football. I'm the only team that's three and zero in the uh, in the thick school first skill fantasy football. I, I heard you saying yesterday that you uh, played like the best guy, and then he had the worst game <laughs> ever. Yeah, yeah, he got the worst points. I got like about the third worst points in the league and, and won my match. It was incredible. <laughs> My bench got nearly as much points as my first team, my first team was like 11 and my bench was 6. <laughs> I mean the first 9, is the first, is the first team 9 players? Unbelievable. So it's really fun though, I, I've never been able to do one with being in English, that's the problem isn't it? The way, the way the NFL fantasy football works is totally different to like, you know, soccer. Does your um, opponent have anyone playing on Monday night to get him points today? No, no, it's over, it's over. Oh, you just wow. do, you just do the three plus here, dodge rather than uh, the red dice. So it's got to be better, right? Well, it's a one D. You can make it a two D, right? With Dallas. No, it's strength five ball. Yeah, oh. It's yeah, so it's an uphill at the moment, uh, but it can be a one D because of Dauntless. So. It can be a two D because of Dauntless. Yeah, yeah, two. D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it gets it. Gets the pal. He has to score though, doesn't he? Like, uh, yeah, unless he gets an AV breath, which he doesn't. Are you trust you trust in blood? You could trust in blood. Just bang it in, mate. Get, give me them points. <laughs> <laughs> give me them. He's no, trust, he's, he's trusting in blood. No. Oh, <laughs> just trust in sure feet failing. Amazing. Oh man. Can you trust in blood for one more turn? He might do. Yeah, he can now. Yeah, he can. He can completely outpace him, can't he? Not like now. He definitely. He just. He just. He, now he just trusts in maths. 
<laughs> yeah, it needs to be manufactured on this chorp, I think, to make sure, but maybe the chorp is actually out of range too. It has yeah. to be, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, once, he, once, he, once he pushes him, I think he's in. Yeah, pu push was to get him out. Which he gets. So there we go, we've got overtime. Very exciting. Hey, the Chorps could do a one turn with movement, with one movement six player, and <laughs> I can't figure it out how, and no frenzy. I'm sure it's theoretically possible. The Chorps could score a one turn if their opponent doesn't defend it at all, like I did against Cruz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, very unlikely to. I picked the bloody wrong chalk ball carrier, didn't I? I picked Andres. No, I should have picked. No. Uh, Christ. What a disaster. Well, to do it, Spalda because wins the toss here. He's made so much damage that if he wins the toss, he's he's he's, he's definitely favourite, isn't he? It's been an absolute nothing. Oh, well, Dunny's taking a lot, but isn't he favourite if he wins the toss here? Uh, Seven, it depends on the KO results, right? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Because if the if the uh. Shorts get their IG5 and go black, they're probably favored. It's very exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Super interesting. And oh, there is two chances for the for the KOs. Yeah. Three. And the Shorts are getting to get one more otherwise chance to... Yeah, to bang out more Shorts. So you could just kill three Norse and... Yeah, it's 10 versus 8, so there's a good chance of 11 versus 8, and then, yeah, you might bang out more, yeah. Bob's your father's brother. Yep. Trust in Bleach. <laughs> 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 He's probably <Palby> Bleacher! <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> A blitz doesn't matter. He can't blitz my blitzer. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna see some mighty and claw mighty hits. Claw pom and mighty blow hits. Mighty blow hits. Doesn't get him. The chores of all the spare players definitely helps them maintain an advantage, so they don't even need to get a ton of rerolls to get players back here, or to be players off. Whoa! Wrong, wrong, wrong block. Oof. Gets the right end. block. Yep. The right block. Yep, that one was definitely the right one. Yep. Correct. And yeah, you can hit him there with him. Three dice, so you can get this assist in. Yep, lovely this, isn't it? Actually making three dice. Oh, yeah, I guess he can, he can still blitz the other guy, can't he? Yeah, yeah, on three dice as well. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I would have, I would have blitzed him from the back, even though yeah. you can't foul him. I would have still just done it like automatically. I just looked for. Yeah, that you, you wouldn't have killed him though, Jim. I wouldn't have. But it's funny, isn't it? That like I would just do that for no reason. <laughs> I know what you're talking about though, Jimmy. I was like, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't you blitz from the top so that you can foul him with what? I don't know. But there should be you should foul him somehow. <laughs> yeah, eleven against what? Seven. Six. Oh, we got oh, six, go. yeah, yeah, six. Oh my god. Oh, it doesn't get a go back. Oh, wow. Yeah, six. It does have an Agi 4 bludger who can just do dodges. So and, like, yeah, and he loses the and toss. And he lost the toss, yeah. Uh, I yeah. think the yeah. choice might be favoured now, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's close, though. <laughs> he's honestly probably even more favoured than he's done at Shorts. He's a ton of hobgoblins now that he can force a score more easily, even. <laughs> it's actually kind of a, a faster team now. 
Yeah. I mean, it's only fair because I, I lost the toss against Spartacus, so you know. There you go. Hashtag not bitter. <laughs> It's a shame that of all the good changes the BBRC has made, they haven't figured out how to make overtime work yet. Mm. Still haven't figured that out. Well, it's exactly. even worse now, mate. Like, yeah. you have to do the whole lot. Like, it's bullshit. Mm. Although, I had to play the whole lot against Spartacus because he didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, just score! Like, I've got one player left and he's stunned on the halfway line. And he's like, nope. <laughs> This is getting. Yeah, I mean, it was I mean this, this is the this is the expected result, right? Like, this is yeah. not. Well, this is what you want when you play Norse. This is not the expected result when you play Yes. Norse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seven, seven cars is not expected. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like you would expect the Chors to beat the Norse here, really, barring something crazy. And like you know, it nearly happened right with the Wiz. That, yeah. that was nearly the crazy thing that won it for the Norse. Mm. They gave themselves a chance before the inevitability caught up with them. Yeah. Well, it would have been it would have been super interesting had he made the catch and scored, and then because the second half might have played out differently. But yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Because Iroh didn't really care too much, did he, about if he scored because he'd have overtime. But if he if he was losing and he just couldn't afford that, yeah, he'd have had to have defended harder. It Ooh. might have been. It might have been differently. <laughs> Suicide ball. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I love that ball blitz. I, no, I that's like, like if he kills that ball, he's got no apo, like, and that just that's that's negative chalice equity. Yeah. Yeah. But he's gonna hit the other one anyway. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, even probably better just to... Oh, okay. We've... Alright, Sparks has given up. Alright. <laughs> no, he's got a Bri, hasn't he? No, maybe he doesn't. I'm thinking the last game. Yeah, last game there was a Bri. There's no Bri, he's just... Yeah, he's like, fuck it. I mean, he's got... To be fair, you can't blame him for giving up. He's got five players. <laughs> yeah. So that's not yeah, even giving up. That's, that's playing to his outs, isn't it? That foul. That is that foul. Yeah. He's actually just playing to his outs. Yeah. The ball is in security. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a foul, uh, a foul, to be honest. Like a Skaven, like a lot like a Skaven foul, the right hand smash. This is over. Uh, do you know what, he could He could have got an extra hit here, maybe? No, I guess not. Maybe, I don't know how far back these were. There might have been the opportunity, you know, to like blitz, blitz into him and then push him in for an extra one. Is there a way to get around and get a ridiculous 1D on the ball? Nah, he's fucked. There's no recovery, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, he could, he could hit, yeah. 4-3, four, 4-2-2. Four, two, two. Not even that It's a good way. thing he had fence so that nothing changed about where he left. Fence so good. <laughs> Oh, his no. glove was Spartacus, is he? Oh, no, no, he's just the... Oh, all right, hello, Glover. You know what I mean? This was the play, wasn't it? This guy should have gone for the ball sack. He could have gone yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it would have been Hit four, three, and then three have, four, yeah. two, two. And then he would have got a 1D. And if he powers it, he goes to there. And this guy comes in, picks it up, and then, uh, you know gets hit with eight dice and survives them all and then runs forward and gets hit by eight dice and survives them all and then scores it was easy really it's really the only shot you got so you gotta go with it i guess yeah yeah you right, also you know. you, maybe you know you hope you uh your opponent uses all your rerolls you don't use any so then when he scores on turn eight you have kick equity at least yeah yeah but yeah i mean it's it just games go like this, don't they? With with Norse sometimes. Not even that much of a high roll from from my roll to make these. Like obviously it's a bit of a high roll making seven cards, but still. It's it's a it's like it's a uh, it's a batch versus batch game, right? So as it starts the the uh, it becomes down. Once it starts going downhill, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Because then you get more and more and more blocks on you. Yeah, and they've got no no way out of it like elves would have. Yeah. 
And as pointed out before, this is a good chore team, so it's not like, oh, well, based on this chore that only has guard, no, no, they all kill you. They all have mighty, they all have flop, mighty blow against you because you're indoors. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> now he rolled high when he was killing himself. <laughs> the North Nigel himself, so at least he gets to retire. <laughs> Unfortunately, the entire team is going to get to retire. Yeah. You can't even think about handing off to somebody else now, can't you? Yeah, you're probably trying to hand off. Oh, that. What's that? The Mighty Blow Guard one is like. Move oh, three. Uh, yeah, so extend uh, firm on him is actually really good because it yeah. gets his strength, his move three a bit, so yeah. Yeah, I'll just hand off to him. That's really, really good. Or, or this or this hobble for an extra dirty player or whatever. So it's it's yeah. either the hobble or the other chalf should be scoring. Does the carrier have any SVP? Uh, I didn't even think of that. No, he's a rookie, so yeah, it's one of these two. It's either that hobble or that chalf, I think. Check the balls too, I guess, those are all the... Yeah, we're like 50, 50 and uh, 60 odd, yeah. Oh. So maybe yeah, 70, uh, maybe him going up maybe 70. Well, okay. Yeah, Spark is still just going for it. Just keep doing it. Yeah. Yep, he's doing the right thing. Yeah, severe lack of armor value can be bad for Norse, though they are known for being armor value 10, they are sometimes armor value 5. You never know which one it is. <laughs> yeah. Might be going for this. <clears throat> yeah, might be. Yeah, bull maybe. Like looks like, I think it's the Chorf. He's setting up a cage around it. It's the Chorf, man. Mm, but he only needs to be on one side, doesn't he, with the cage? I thought well, next, you, you can hand off from the bottom left. The yeah. quadric. The quadrics, yeah. But I mean, the, like this bull would be here, right? If you're going to hand off to him, that's that's what I was thinking. So I thought maybe he's handing mm. off to the bull. Because. No, he's not. In that case, I would have put this bull here. Because there's no point putting him away from the three players. <laughs> away from the three players that can do oh. anything. Gets the uphill double powers. Look, that's what that's what Gadenic should have gone for in his match. <laughs> <laughs> Kills it. Wow. Not going to suck SVP now, are you? <laughs> the old should do a dodge. I think the old might have, maybe should have done the dodge to go base the other shore for something. I don't know. Maybe standing there was enough because it's tying up a million players. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter to see. No. You're just hoping it isn't. Yeah, there it goes. It is over now. No matter what Elliot thinks, it's over. Now, now we're doing all right. Now I don't think he can even base, let alone. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We're done. Oh, he just scores. Doesn't even go for him. Yeah, that's weird. You should definitely be going. For, I guess. Yeah, just two turns. For... I think you have like three turns and two rerolls. I think you try for one at least. On the chalk. Yeah, one, one. You probably don't put the reroll into it though, but one oh, of those would be the rerolls. I just all the rerolls. I, I would, I would hand off the chore for the first one and reroll it, and then the second turn, you know, use the reroll to pick up with a with a hobo if you have to. Oh, dead player gets the MVP. What a dicing! Comedy. Oh major. wow! And he would have leveled as well. <laughs> Well, there you go. But um, yep, Chorf's win, Norse lose. Uh, congratulations, I Ravel. Commiserations, Spartacus. Thank you very much, Dimmy and Squirrel. Absolutely glorious, guys. Glorious. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>